Mikey, the first round is history, and you're off to the finals to face Awesome Kong. History? You want some history? I'll give you a lesson. How about two weeks ago, I was a TNA knocked up champ. Now you got the crybaby Tara walking around as a TNA knocked up champ. I should still be the champ, and she should still be walking around blubbering and licking up her wound from Final Resolution. Didn't, I mean, she beat you fair and square at Final Resolution. She didn't beat me. No one beats the ODB. She can walk around thinking she's a champ, but tonight, I'm going to win the tourney, and I'm going to get my shot, and I'm going to get my belt back. And speaking of shots and belt, it's New Year's Eve, and uh, I need a big bottle because I got Kong on my dance card, so drink up, Barbie. Oh, okay. Well, heh, actually, I think it's bad luck on New Year's Eve to waste alcohol on a Barbie. Mmm. Well, we'll be right back with the New Year's Knockout Eve. <laughs> because of the attack by Lacey Von Erich in the ugly uh, stick. Huh? I would assume so. That weapon was driven hard into the rib area midsection of Rossi. possesses those toxic kicks. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Hamada, the victory over Madison Rain and the beautiful people in the quarterfinal round to move into the semis. And as we watch Hamada and Roxy square off, the realization, I believe, sets in for both of these knockouts. And they are just wow. one win away, Taz, from moving on to the finals. And remember, the winner of this New Year's Knockout Eve tournament tonight here on Impact will get a title shot against the new champion, Tara. Well, definitely a gigantic, ginormous opportunity. Nice drop toe hole from the front by Hamada. We talked earlier about the second generation competitor, Hamada, from a wrestling family. Her father, Gran Hamada, competed internationally. Japan and Mexico oh primarily God. for like over 30 years. Her sister, oh. also a professional wrestler, and Hamada knows every trick of the trade. Well, again, I'm a little surprised Hamada has not gone after the midsection of Roxy, being that Roxy is all wrapped up around the ribs. Potentially just a matter of time, one would think, because of the importance of this matchup, that Hamada might try to take advantage of would, Roxy and the injury at the hands of Lacey Von Erich. And, and let me ask your, your opinion, Mike. Would you blame Hamada if she did do that, if she did zone in on the rips? Not in the least, because of what's at stake. These exactly. matches are important. This is a t title shot that goes to the winner of our tournament. And, you know, listen, this industry is about being a champion. And opportunities to become champion. When you're a champion, you're the top content you're the top one. You make more money when you're the champion. You're in the forefront. That's what it's about. Oof. Power move right there with Hamada driving Roxy back first to the canvas and now gonna work on the ankle and the leg. Yeah, well it seems like Roxy's just having a hard time getting out of the out of the box here against Hamada. Hamada really working on the leg. Nice. Nice counter. To that cross arm breaker, trying to go for a cross arm breaker. Look breaker. at the perfect defense though by Hamada. Yeah, it's a good def the defense. Try to stack her up, but hanging on, tenacious is uh, Roxy, breaking the hold via the rope. Does Hamada? Hardcore knockout, Roxy, trained for professional wrestling by the legendary, the late Killer Kowalski. Quick leg sweep there, it'll take down Roxy and Hamada floats over and goes right back to the basics with the side headlock. Who wasn't able to drop, was not able to drop Roxy there with that shoulder block, but Roxy's able to drop Hamada. Nice quickness there, good deep arm drag by Hamada. Another arm drag. Oh! Both go for the drop kick, both connect. 
And again, you see yeah, right there. She's hurting. Roxy favoring the injured ribs because of that attack by Lacey Von Eric. Well, it seems like Kamada might be say, asking referee Earl Hebner check her out. Is, is her ribs okay? I mean, that's that's very nice of Hamada. I personally don't agree with it. Well, that wasn't nice. Well, she's actually checked the ribs, and now she's going after it. Wow. Well, I dig it. Now working on the the arm, and now goes Ooh. unique version here of the abdominal stretch, Taz. Yeah, while the uh, left arm of Roxy's trapped, she's stretching out the rib cage, the intercostals of the. Oh man, look at this! Almost like the octopus, right, Mike? Similar to what we saw. In earlier Velvet tonight Sky. from Velvet Sky. A little extra weight here from Hamada. I think it might make that octopus submission even more well, effective. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that with more weight with that move, it makes it more difficult to try and escape, and it's a more powerful move. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't think a hole. Watch out! Oh! Right in the back. Double foot stomp off the top. What? What is the ribs? What is it internally going on right now in Roxy? Who knows the pain that she's got to be. Now look at this. A single leg Boston Crab. Oh my and God. Sitting down. Just tap out. That Roxy. Move. What kind of heart and resiliency is that Roxy shown here? By not tapping. Did she tap? No, I guess not she didn't. Yet, no. Especially into the conditions task that she's in. Mata fights back shots and chops and headbutts and off the rope she comes. Whoa, nice. Nice recovery by Roxy, but you can see her favoring, again, the rib cage as she took Hamada over with the move. It just it limits her offense so much. Oh, with a suplex, she back arches. That affects her ribs. And nice! That running front kick. Going to go for the cover. Going to try and advance in the tournament, but Hamada... And as you pointed out, Mike, how big is this match here? One of these ladies will advance to the finals for the number, number one contendership for Taris Knockout Championship. This the first of our two semifinal matchups in the New Year's Knockout Eve tournament. With Awesome Pong and ODB yet to come tonight. The slap uh -oh. by Hamada, uh -oh. and she's going to go up and headbutts up from the top there. Roxy trying to fight back and does so. Hey, I get a lot of respect for Roxy here. She is shutting up. Showing up. Oh. Oh. oh! What a kick. Great flexibility in the legs of Hamada to pull off a kick like that. Yeah, from where she was at to where Roxy's at up on the top ropes there. What is this now? We know Hamada has phenomenal balance yeah. on the ropes. We saw that agility earlier. Snaps it off. Oh my God. Top rope Hurricane Rana. Pin and oh! Oh, I thought she had three. No, just two. How the hell did Roxy kick out of that? You see a little bit of frustration on the face of Hamada, who usually shows very little emotion during a match. Hamada bringing it all here, and Roxy able to survive to this point. Top rope again. Missile drop kick, and did you see where he caught it with the kick? Right on the side of the rib cage. Roxy just, God, she just has no quit in her. Hamada takes Roxy up. Oh, look at oh, quick roll through. Stop Stop get the pin. Two. Oh. A win that would have been under the conditions. Very unique counter into that roll. Oh my God. Another one of those lethal kicks that time. The spin kick. Motions that she's going to finish oh, no. her off. She's trying to go for maybe that Hamada driver. Oh, Roxy fights it off. Roll through. She's got Hardcore knockout gets another near fall. What a competitive match this has been. So impressive for Roxy. Ooh. It's the voodoo. The drop leads to a pin and two again. A series of near falls back and forth between both of these competitors. How important is Tara's knockout championship to see these two women, Hamada and Roxy, try to advance into the finals. And remember, oh this is God, the second is. time that we've seen these competitors tonight. She's yep. got her racked up across the, the shoulder there, torture style. Oh! oh! Falls down, directly into the pin, and... Yeah, near fall after near fall between both these knockouts. First it was Hamada with the series of two counts. Now it's Roxy coming right back at her. On the verge of victory several times. Another voodoo drop potentially here. Yeah, she has that arm, arm hammer locked in. Look at Hamada. She's trying to get out with these headbutts. She realizes the situation she's in. Headbutts leads to a roll-up. Wait on top. It's got the win. Double stack and double hooking both the legs.
hopes of Roxy and able to get the pin. That is huge for Hamada to go into the finals now. Going to fill out my bracket here with the victory over 